Hey everyone, how are you doing? I bet you thought I wasn't coming back, but I'm here. Yes, I am. And I'm so excited to present this video to you. I wanted to share with you um, my kitchen cabinets. Now, I, I'm so envious of you ladies who have pantries. I absolutely love the pantry concept. And there's, my house is small. And I don't have a pantry anywhere in sight. Well, I do have one. It's not a real pantry pantry. It's big enough for my linen and stuff. So I use that for my linen. And I, I just always wanted a pantry. But, you know, I thought maybe if I buy something, you know, like a cabinet that I could put in my kitchen to make up, you know, because I really wanted a pantry. But there was no way of doing that. So I racked my brain to figure out how I can get that pantry concept. And so I figured out I could do my cabinets like a pantry. So what I decided to do is create these zones in my kitchen. So I have like a cooking zone, you know, and I have the, you know, the dishes and you know, dish, dish, dishware zone. And I have like the coffee zone with the baking zone and, and that, and you'll see that. Now the stores that I went to were home goods, big lots, Fala's, you know, that Fala's F A L L A S that store, um, Walmart. Did I say that? Let me start again. Walmart, home goods, big lots, Fala's, Target. Um, and I had some stickers, the Martha Stewart stickers from um, Staples, so that I already had some things uh, in my possession already, and the Dollar Tree. So yeah, I went to all those places to set up my kitchen and my cabinets, and I absolutely love it. Now, the big uh, trick is, is to make him, my husband keep it that way because... He's the one who does all the cooking. I mean, I can cook now. He just, I just don't have to. How about that? But anyways, when I open up my cabinets, I can see what I'm looking for. I can see everything and I love our, I just love the way it looks. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to show you what I did. I hope you enjoyed the collection of pictures. I'm going to follow it step by step. The only thing is I did not take any pictures, I don't think, of before and after. So I did take a picture of my food once I took it all out and put it on the table or the counter. I did take a picture of that, just the food or whatever, and my supplies and stuff. And then I'll show you the different setup and the zones. I love it. So you guys, I will be back right after this video. And I just want to say hello to those that are in London. Hello, hello, hello. I am so excited that I stretched my personality has stretched all the way to London. I am so excited to, to know that. So hi to my new family and friends, to my new friends. I love you. I love you all. Okay, so um, let me stop talking. I am already three minutes, four minutes into this video, and um, and I got my Windows Movie Maker back. <gasps> I'm so excited. I tried to do the YouTube thing, but man, it was it's it's not the same. I I couldn't do it. So I got my Windows Movie Maker back on this computer here. Oh, I'm so excited because I think this is Windows 8.1, so it, it works for this. There is no Windows 10 on here. I missed the boat on that. Now they want to charge you like $119. I, well, anyways, you guys go ahead, watch my video, and I'll be back at the end. Okay? Bye!
This is zone one, and this is where we have our pastas, our rices, and our uh, grains right over the stove. This is zone one. As you can see, the different baskets, those that's our overage of anything that needs to be filled down here. That's the overage, so we shelve that like that. I absolutely love how I set that up. Zone number two, love zone number two. Let me start off on the first shelf here. I uh, put all of our spices here on the first shelf. As you can see, I've got them corralled in a two-tier stainless steel, uh, two-tier shelf here. And also we have a um, revolving seasoning, seasoning rack right here. Also, um, any of the seasonings that he uses immediately, like salt and pepper, I house here. Next up is where we keep our cooking sprays, our vinegars, our cooking oils, and also our uh, sauces. So barbecue sauce, hot sauce on the second shelf. Then on the third shelf, we have overage hot sauce, any uh, extra seasonings, and some canned goods. That's how I set that up for us. We, um, Whatever needs to be filled down here, we get it from up there, and some things that we do not use right away, I keep it up there. All right, and this is zone number three. This is the left side of the kitchen sink, and this is where we get our day started. This is where we keep our coffees, our teas, our to-go cups, any of our vitamins that we need to take or our medications that we need to take as far as maintenance drugs are concerned. Everything is done right here. I didn't have an area for a coffee bar, but I did make this area, uh, put everything on the first shelf so that we can grab our creamers and our sugars and our teas, whatever we want to have in the morning time, along with uh, also taking our maintenance drugs and our vitamins and stuff like that there on the first shelf. Then on the second shelf, we have um, bake uh, essentials. Anything that we have to use for baking is on the second shelf um, to, you know, to, um, Make it easier for us to see. I put brown sugars up here. I put our imitation vanillas and you know flavors. I put anything as far as like um, containers, small little containers like these cups. I put that stuff over here. And then at the top, the very very top, is additional things for baking. Also with our um, anything that uh, we want to bake is like cakes and. Uh, not pies, but cakes and um, cupcakes and cookies and mixes and stuff like that there. They're all up here on the third shelf. And then because I have extra space uh, underneath, you know, underneath this shelf, I went ahead and purchased um, uh, one of those metal shelves to uh, take advantage of the height that's at the top. So I was able to store some more things that we don't use that much. And this is zone number three. Last but not least, this is zone number four. This is where I corral all of my dinnerware, our glasses, um, my cups, my saucers, my measuring cups, things of that nature, our entertainment glasses. I put everything and corralled it and organized it all over here. I used some of those wired shelves from Walmart to take advantage of some of the height that I had. And of course, we are also paper product kind of people, so I made area for our paper products. And these cups right here, these are my cup, my husband's favorite coffee cups. So I have two of those. That's why it looks so odd. Other than that, I would throw them away. But then other than that, uh, I really like how this came out. It looks really, really nice. So this is where I keep all of my 
uh, entertainment glasses um, and this is where I keep our measuring cups and this is where I keep our coffee my coffee cups I love these coffee cups as you can remember those are the ones from the thrift store but I have a lot of them um, everything that's that looks like that is back there I have another size uh, cups for you know when I want tea um, I've got some extra sauces here these are my dark um, black um, glasses that I use in the winter time um, and or it doesn't matter when I use them but they, they look really good I love them and these are my uh, fall uh, glasses here and then that's one of my coffee cups too so I like that and then next let me just move over I will open up this one and this is where we keep our dishes so I set everything up I got the metal shelving you know the um, wire shelf from Walmart and then I have my summer dishes which is the white ones that you can use all the time but I also have my winter dishes that I bought a while ago and then I have some additional uh, cups and um, glasses entertainment glasses that are up there so this is how I set everything up so this is zone number four